The Sierra Occipito Cervico Thoracic System is designed to facilitate reconstruction of the posterior cervical and upper thoracic spine. The patient should be placed in the prone position. A midline incision is made and dissection is completed down to the appropriate vertebrae. Once the entry point and trajectory for the screw are determined, the awl is used to penetrate the cortical bone and create a starting hole. Drill bits are provided in various lengths with quick connect fittings to attach to the modular handle. To drill a hole, select the appropriate drill length, place the drill bit into the barrel of the drill guide, and apply downward pressure while turning the drill clockwise until the step of the drill shaft contacts the guide. Insert the sounder into the pedicle to verify the integrity of the pedicle wall. The depth of the drill hole can be confirmed using the depth gauge. Insert the tip of the depth gauge into the drill hole until the tip contacts the bottom of the hole. The depth of the hole can be measured by reading the scale located on the shaft of the depth gauge. Taps are provided in three diameters, 3.5 millimeter, 4.0 millimeter, and 4.5 millimeter. To tap a hole, select the appropriate tap, place the tap into the barrel of the tap guide, and apply downward pressure while turning the tap clockwise. Advance the tap until the number corresponding to the desired depth aligns with the top of the tap guide. After determining the appropriate screw length, load the hex cavity of the screw onto the hex tip of the polyaxial screwdriver. Secure the screw to the screwdriver by turning the knob on the screwdriver's sleeve clockwise until the screwdriver is fully engaged with the seat of the screw. Screw length may be confirmed by using the gauge located on the corresponding screw caddy. To disengage the screw from the screwdriver, hold the handle and turn the knob on the screwdriver's sleeve counterclockwise. To simplify the placement of the rod, the seats of the screws may be aligned using the seat alignment tool. Place the alignment tool into the seat of the screw with the inner bar resting in the rod channel of the screw and turn the alignment tool until the rod channels of each screw are parallel to the anticipated direction of the rod. Repeat the process for the remaining screws. Hooks are available if needed for additional support and are available in a variety of offsets and throat sizes. Select the appropriate hook. Place the hook using the hook holder and or hook pusher. Repeat the process for the remaining hooks. The rod template may be used to determine the appropriate curvature and length of rod. Use the ratcheting rod cutter to cut the 3.5 millimeter rod to the appropriate length. Prior to inserting the rod, align the two lines on the rod cutter by rotating the cutting wheel counterclockwise. Place the rod through the left side of the rod cutter with the desired rod length you want to implant exposed on the left side of the cutter. The rod cutter will cut the rod on the cut line plane indicated on the instrument. Squeeze and release the rod cutter handles. Repeat this step until the rod shears off smoothly. The French rod bender may be used to contour the rod if necessary. Lateral connectors may be used to facilitate coupling the screws to the rod if necessary. To introduce the lateral connector, ensure the set screw is loose and slide the opening of the connector over the rod. Insert the rod into the construct using the rod holder. The rod is locked to the screw using a locking cap. The loader is used to place the locking cap onto the seat 